Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday, Martin Luther King Day in America. So we will have reduced liquidity today and probably reduced interest. Um, looking for just ranges today, uh, unless we get a news bomb, uh, which I don't expect either. Uh, things should settle down. Also, we have uh, Chinese New Year coming up. So it's a funny period of the year um, where we have, you know, reduced liquidity periods and order flow drives the market typically this time of year. So um, we're just watching short term price action, try and snip some profits here and there on some positions that we have uh, if they're tradable if it's just hold uh, hold to the death uh, like say Bitcoin we just sit um, anyway let's have a look today uh, what's going on very very quiet overnight um, let's take a look at cable first and foremost a little bit of a kind of gappy open um, but not really. I mean, come on. I mean, it was closed at around the figure, opened at 90. It's really, you know, horseshit, right? I mean, left hand side looks the way, right? Uh, this turn up here with retail sales, pretty serious. Um, and it just makes sense, right? For, for those who are outside, who are bystanders to this negotiation process for Brexit. Uh, it'll be a miracle if they can get this thing done anytime soon. Um, the UK economy is uh, not doing great. The Bank of England's talking about cutting rates. Um, there's going to be frustration, right? I mean, the halo effect after the uh, Boris's uh, big-time bonanza win uh, is kind of the shine has worn off here and, and it just seems like a natural natural direction here for uh, cable to take some pain it doesn't also uh, hurt the fact that uh, you know the US dollar is uh, riding high uh, currently which also puts downward pressure on sterling so of course short sterling is an, is an interesting way to play things today any kind of squeezy bounce between 130.25 um, and 130.50 you should sell. You should really have some core shorts on as you speak here. Um, and then just look for a range today. Let's, let's call it 129.45, uh, 130, uh, 130.30 uh, is the range. The problem with that range low is is this of course um, 129.50 is is um, a troublesome technical point there will be stops below there so um, do not fade down at 129.50 to get long that's a tradable short type of uh, fade because it could easily chop through that and um, surprise a lot of people on the downside Euro sterling, same type deal, uh, boosted because Euro's up about uh, 15 points as well. Uh, these 86, uh, the figure, um, this 86 to figure level looks like it's in play. You could, you know, uh, any kindergartner, this passes the kindergarten test in. in technical analysis which is one of the tests I like to apply any kindergartner could could see that this is a this could easily be an inverted head and shoulders and I'm not trying to diss technical analysis I obviously use it uh, a great deal in my practice um, but you want setups that many many people can see because for setups to work there has to be participation in order for there to be participation there has to be understanding um, one of the reasons I, I, I shy away from some of the other um, more complex technical indicators is because um, 
a lot of people just don't put in the work and just want simple answers to things so simple technical setups uh, are of more interest to me than complex ones uh, so anyway this looks like it's also um, in play this week obviously Friday's the big release that everyone's talking about can you be short sterling going into Friday at a tremendous average um, so that you can survive the volatility of that release you can answer that question for yourself on a more sane um, idea is this long dollar Swiss uh, today we're buyers down at 40 uh, we expect basically 40 figure to be the range no uh, really quiet range in dollar Swiss today uh, low participation type stuff but core long dollar Swiss is the way Swiss yen also we are short uh, it's basically the same trade as dollar Swiss so be careful these are not two different trades it's basically the same trade um, so it's basically like a double leveraged Swiss franc trade but again we're expecting very low vol today so maybe 95 uh, 70 in um, Swiss yen a sort of a nothing day on the cards euro uh, no real clue here down at the bottom of the range we talked about it on Twitter the the, the DXY is is near the 200 day moving average I don't even have the DXY on this uh, set of charts but just trust me on this um, DXY 200 day is around 9770 so we're close to that obviously euro dollar and DXY is kind of the same trade I think it's 60 percent euro um, I guess watch these lows. I just don't have a real feel for what the hell's happening in Euro. Um, the kindergarten line is is this one, which will be bought the first time. So this will be third touch. This will be support here, uh, 106.70. But we don't really have a dog in this fight. Um, I guess technically we're short Euros because we're we're long dollar Swiss, but um, whatever. I don't know what the hell is going on in the Euro. Gold, uh, middle of the range, higher, but nothing to do there. Uh, this is just equities on the highs. Uh, equities, tiny range last night. You know, the stretch continues. Uh, if you need to be short this uh, because you have your blinders on, just sell high ones, right? So basically the strategy might be check your open as of right now 3325 sell this between 33 45 and 50 on the day as a tactical trade try and snag some cash on that it's not a position trade it's a tactical trade so many of you um, are stuck in this mentality that you have to be short um, that's obviously not the wisest way to trade but it, it is what it is. If you can't be long, there is money to be made both sides in every market. You just have to plan accordingly. So sell stretch highs tactically if you must be short, which is obviously kind of the logical position. Um, but the position that's making all the money is long, uh, which is often the case in trading. The illogical trumps the logical. Um, if you're long, great we're, we're not long uh, that's for sure but your, your stop should be 3260 um, and you know ride that horse baby uh, if you are long God bless you that's just brilliance um, not only have you shut out all of the screaming bears who can get pretty loud um, but you've obviously followed your plan uh, after this uh, Jan 8 day I mean, this is a, it was a pretty obvious long after Jan 8, technically. Uh, and for those of you who played that, well done. Let's take a look at dollars R. Um, 1450 looks like it's in play. They were talking about, um, you know, 
you know, political retirement and, you know, it's, when was the last time there was like really excellent news in South Africa? Uh, I was, I was chatting on uh, DM with a fellow who lives down there and I, and I sadly said to him, I've been watching this thing for, for 30 years since it was at three when I started when I started watching this it was not at six it was at three um, now it's at 14 it's probably going to 50 um, it's, it's just a real shame right it's such a such a beautiful country beautiful people just totally fucked up um, anyway 1450 is your um, is your bull bear uh, above 1450 this sucker can run I don't see it's not gonna happen today I don't think unless we get some more uh, bad news or political uncertainty uh, but um, watch 1450 uh, otherwise not really much on my mind uh, we're gonna just be managing our Swiss franc side of things uh, short cable today uh, tradable short just because we expect to range watch 129.50 um, otherwise not really much going on out there we don't have any data that's worth speaking about I think we got German PPI which is a waste of time um, got nothing I mean we got some Brazilian shit coming out um, midday it's actually useless is Lagarde speaking tonight? 7.30 Swiss time? That looks like it's it's on my calendar. I haven't read anything about that. Um, I guess Eurogroup is, is meeting, so maybe she is doing a late night speech uh, in Europe. We don't expect her to say much uh, of anything still. She's still rookie. So she's going to keep her mouth shut and stick to the script, which is kind of cheerleader status for now. Um, but it looks like Lagarde is speaking. So 7.30 Swiss time, 1.30 uh, New York time for those of you who are working in New York. Uh, keep that in mind. All right, listen, I've said enough. Uh, quiet, rangy day today. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. Um, catch you tomorrow. Ciao.